Today's 3D pixelated cube shaped low frame rate shenanigans are brought to you by Squarespace. But more on that in a bit. Hi, my name's Sean, this is Action Retro, and today we're gonna play Minecraft on way too old of a computer. That's it, that's the intro, stay tuned. And if you enjoy the sound of mid 90s computers struggling at the brink of their processing capacity, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. So today's video is the culmination of several weeks of hard work. And by hard work, I mean scrounging up rare and sometimes modified decades old hardware upgrades to create a computer with specs that would literally not be believable in 1997. This Power Mac 9600 came stock with a 300 megahertz processor, 32 megs of RAM, and an eight megabyte video card. We've since upgraded it slightly to a one gigahertz G4 processor, 1.5 gigs of RAM, and a hacked up 128 megabyte video card. If you haven't seen the previous videos, check those out right here. And all of this in the pursuit of one singular lofty, ridiculous goal that some of you may have been expecting if you've been around this channel for a while. Just like we've done many, many, many times in the past, we're gonna try and run Minecraft on this thing. That's right, a game that was originally released in 2011 on a computer from the dawn of the internet age. So to all the people back in 1997 who said, Max can't game, I'm gonna show you right after this word about today's sponsor. Squarespace. Create a fast, beautiful, and rich web experience for your business or brand using Squarespace's powerful all-in-one platform. It's really easy to get started. Like, say I wanted to build a website for my exclusive club, the Minecraft on way too old of a computer players club, a club that I've just made up. Not only could I build it in minutes with Squarespace, but I could do it without writing a single line of code. There's a ton of beautiful templates that I could choose to start from. And from there, it's simple to build a great looking site that's also fast, responsive, and works great on mobile devices. With Squarespace's extensive built-in tool set, I can also optimize for SEO, manage a mailing list, check my analytics, and much more, all geared towards managing your entire web presence. I'm so grateful to Squarespace for being a longtime sponsor of this channel. So check out squarespace.com slash action retro today for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use code action retro to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, so before we actually fire this thing up, I wanted to give a quick update on last week's video, which we left on kind of a cliffhanger. And a lot of people actually messaged me curious about how we actually got Mac OS X to install on here. It was actually pretty easy. It worked for me pretty much the first time installing from original Mac OS 10.4 Tiger install media. It took quite a while because I used a single speed DVD ROM and uh, well, I actually wound up just installing it straight to the blue SCSI. I was originally installing it on a SATA SSD using a PCI SATA controller card, which was working, but the computer was unstable with this installed. And uh, I'm pretty sure it was because of power, not because this is incompatible, because I've used this in all sorts of weird PCI-based Macs, including the 20th anniversary Macintosh, and it works great. So I am gonna solve this by doing the modern ATX power supply mod to this machine, but I'm gonna save that probably for the next video on this thing, because for now, I'm really surprised that just how fast this Blue Scuzzy V2 is even running Mac OS X. Let's fire this thing up and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna boot this thing up from cold so you can see just how fast it is and bear in mind that this is booting an operating system that was never ever supposed to run on it from an SD card in a Blue Scuzzy. Prepare to be amazed.
and that's it. We're in. <laughs> I have modern Windows computers at my day job that don't even boot up this fast. And huge respect to the Blue Scuzzy team for Blue Scuzzy V2. This thing is incredible. Now, as far as the actual Minecraft that we're going to be playing, there's a couple options we have. You see, I'm not the only person obsessed with playing Minecraft on way too old of a computer. There are actually special versions of Minecraft optimized by people in the Macintosh community for PowerPC Max. But there are three things that we're gonna try out today and see how they run. There's Minecraft PowerPC Edition, which is, that's actually been around for quite a while. I think it's Minecraft 1.5.2, but there's an even newer version, Minecraft 1.8.9, which I'm told will run even better than the original Minecraft PowerPC Edition. And there's also something on here called Classic Cube which is Minecraft Classic ported to G3s and up by Alex McKeever uh, with some additional polish by Z970. But let's download these and give them a shot here on the fastest possible beige Power Macintosh. You know, I think it's maybe worth a quick aside about why Minecraft on this ancient machine that's old enough to be Minecraft's dad. Well, it's actually really interesting. I think Minecraft is actually a really good test for this kind of upgrade. You see, this machine is very much limited by video card. That 128 megabyte video card is really the best we're ever gonna get in here. That wasn't even meant for this machine. But we've put a G4 one gigahertz CPU in there, which is nuts. And we've given it 1.5 gigs of RAM and Minecraft written in Java is pretty much processor dependent. And for that reason, I think we might actually get a playable Minecraft on this 1997 machine. Okay, let's fire it up. Okay, so I've got our three versions of Minecraft extracted to the desktop, and I wanna start with Minecraft PowerPC Edition. Now, to do this, we actually have an installer which is going to drop the Minecraft application, after several minutes at least, right into our applications folder. Let's play some Minecraft. All right, and here we are in Minecraft 1.5.2. Now this was the first version of Minecraft optimized for PowerPC by Power Mac fans. And basically what this has is a bunch of plugins, well, mainly Optifine, with everything tuned down as much as possible. So all of the quality settings are, well, basically off, and all the performance metrics are set to be as forgiving and non-taxing as possible. All right, let's do single player. We'll create a new world, and we'll set it to creative because that's less taxing. And create new world. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, we are finally loading in, and uh, that took 14 minutes to generate this world. 14 minutes with me wiggling the mouse to make sure it didn't completely freeze. <laughs> ah, wow, that's 14 minutes of my life I will never get back. And is it worth it? Well, judging by this frame rate, uh, <laughs> this is much worse than I expected. But the world is still loading in, so I guess let's give it a second to finish. And also, it looks like we're loading into the dense forest, which is the worst biome for frames per second because <laughs> it's very complicated. All right. All right, well, after several more minutes, the world has loaded in and it looks beautiful when we're standing still here, but try to move and uh, <laughs> it's a little bit janky. Oh my God. All right, so we can hit F3 to see our frame rate and we've got one. 
Spiking to two. All right, next up is Minecraft 189, so a newer version of Minecraft. Although I've heard that this is actually better optimized than 152, which I don't totally understand, but let's find out. The way to launch it is we have a runme.sh, which is a shell script, and all we have to do is drag that onto a terminal window, enter our name, and this will load Minecraft just without the frills of the nice pop-up window in 152. Okay, here we are in Minecraft 1.8.9, and I can already see some pretty major differences. I think this is optimized in a lot of ways that the previous 152 wasn't. I mean, we can see that the font up here is changed. This text is going a lot more smoothly. But let's create a new world. Game mode creative, but we'll leave this with the default generation. Let's see what it does. And if it takes another 15 minutes to generate. <laughs> Holy cow, that took maybe four minutes as opposed to 15. That's crazy. And we're loaded into the forest. And look at that. Look how much faster it is. I mean, no, it's not fast. <laughs> We're getting like three to five frames per second. But compare that to the frames we were getting in 152. This is actually, if you squint, playable. <laughs> this certainly has had a lot more optimization than the 152 PowerPC Minecraft. Yeah, look at this. I can actually play. Hey, cows! Come here, cows. Prepare to get punched! Okay, and last up we have Classic Cube, which is a port of Minecraft Classic. And the big thing about this is it was ported to C to be able to run much, much faster natively on PowerPC. And according to the MacRumors forum post announcing it, they were getting 20 frames per second on a 500 megahertz G3. So, yeah, let's see how it goes on a 1 gigahertz G4. Whoa! Oh, look at that! Okay, full screen doesn't work for some reason. It tries to do something out of the monitor's scan range. Oh, it has the music and everything. Yeah, but look at this. Look how smooth it is. Oh my god. This is magical. Whoa. <laughs> I guess you can super run in this game. By holding down shift. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's like a miracle. All right, so don't actually know how to place a brick. Yeah, with my single button mouse, it seems all I can do is smash things. I can't actually place them. Oh my god, this says it's running at 55 frames per second. That is... that's incredible! Oh my god! 55, 56 frames per second. This is just a straight up, normal, good Minecraft experience. Alright, so I found a nice two button wireless USB mouse and I've put a Sonnet USB and Firewire card in there. And now look at this! I have the full Minecraft experience. This is just beautiful. All right, let's see what TNT is like here. Oh, it just immediately explodes. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. I cannot believe how well this works on this machine.
Yeah, just look at that. This is the real deal. Classic Cube is incredible. Ah, look at that. Third person mode. <laughs> Wow, I cannot get over how good this is. That's amazing. People really like Minecraft, don't they? There are a lot of very smart people in the Vintage Mac and Power Mac community. But I'm gonna call this video here. We've had a lot of fun with Minecraft and uh, yeah, there's a couple things left I wanna do to this machine. I wanna upgrade the power supply finally and hopefully get it booting off of a SATA SSD on that PCI SATA controller card. But if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of this kind of shenanigans, please subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching. And a special thanks to Alex Hoffman, Camila Noseda, Chris Allegretta, Chris Biggs, Chris Calderon, Chris Nelson, Control Alt Reese, Daniel Hubbard, Greg Rutke, Jason Pepez, Justin Hemmings, Justin Reed, Lyle Truid, Michael Mulhern, Paul Spencer, Ryan, Scott Thompson, Sutek, Tom Woodfin, and Unknown Soldier 41, who are my highest tiered patrons and all of my Patreon supporters for helping make these videos possible.